Tapos the other personal shoppers were just like, you know the term isang tanong, isang sagot. So, it's like, I'd ask them how much and then they'd pick price. And then, oh, can you find this? We'll try. Like that, you know, like it just sounded very, uh, like, there was no relationship. Like, these people weren't really trying to build relationships. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a little SLG unboxing with you guys. But before anything else, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If these are the kinds of videos that you like watching, I would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on Instagram at TrishDLF. So this video was just going to be an SLG and a mini jewelry unboxing. I just have three items with me to unbox with you guys. Um, I have a paper bag from Louis Vuitton, a Chanel paper bag, and a Pandora paper bag. So those are the items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And without further ado, let's just jump into the first item, which is the Louis Vuitton paper bag. So this is what I got from Louis Vuitton. And it's in quite a big paper bag, but don't be fooled because the item inside is just actually really, really very small. So the story about this is that they didn't have any boxes anymore. So they actually used the shoe box for this item. So this is actually an SLG, but it's inside the shoe box because the other boxes that they had for SLGs were already bigger. And I just asked them for the smallest possible box that they could find because my item was really small anyway. So I'll just unbox this first and then I'm going to go into the story of how I ended up getting this item. So just briefly inside, I have the receipt. So you just get this receipt from Louis Vuitton and over here is the shoe box and which is not really a shoe inside and it's still in the Chinese New Year packaging as you can see over here because I bought this mid-feb so I think it was just like a few days after Chinese New Year when I bought this item. So this item wasn't exactly in my main wish list priority for 2021. It was in the back of my head though but I didn't think that they would have this anymore in the version that I wanted. But luckily when I went into the store mid-feb they had the new shipment in and I was just like okay I'm gonna get it. And I was also feeling a bit down mid-feb so I was just like you know what I'm gonna get this just to make me a little bit happier. So let's just open it. And guys I'm, I swear this is just like a really small item. They just didn't have a box for it anymore. So this is what's inside, and this is just. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh. This is just. Uh. Pencil case! <laughs> so, this is just the Louis Vuitton pencil case, and I know, I feel like people would judge me that I bought a Louis Vuitton pencil case. But guys, hear me out. So the story about this pencil case is that, as you guys may know if you watched my luxury wish list video, I have been wanting the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton since late last year. And I have been going to the store, um, asking for it, and to no avail. I've gone to the store probably four to five times already asking for the mini pochette. But they never had it. I even got the number of an essay already. And I would text her once in a while just to follow up if they already have a mini pochette. But it's already 2021 and I still haven't been able to get my hands on the mini pochette. So my strategy was like, because I really felt like I'm not going to be able to get the mini pochette just by texting the SA on Viber like every now and then. Because I feel like it's really just a first come, first serve basis. Like whoever happens to be at that store at that time when the mini pochette gets delivered, then that's the customer who gets to take home the item. So I really felt that in me. So my strategy was just that I would randomly pop into the boutique, both in Louis Vuitton and Solaire, and I would ask if they had the mini pochette. And it was already Feb at that time. I think it was my next two visits to Louis Vuitton since I got rejected like three to four times already. So this one was from my first visit since I did my luxury wish list video. So if you saw that video, I mentioned that I went to Louis Vuitton like four times already looking for the mini pochette and to no avail. So this was the first visit since doing that video. And luckily, you know what, I'll just put this here first. So it just sits there. So this was my first visit to the store since then. And what happened was, 
the SA that I had the contact number of wasn't there. Actually, it was so funny. I wasn't even supposed to go into Louis Vuitton that day, but I was just like, you know what? Let's just try. Even if the SA that I had the contact with wasn't there that day. I think it was her day off or something. So I went in. So it was a new SA who greeted me. And so my usual spiel, would you happen to have a mini pochette? And obviously they didn't have it again. And then so I was like, this is actually my spiel whenever I go. It's the mini pochette first that I ask. And then if there's none, there's the, I ask for the pencil case. And then if there's none, I ask for the cosmetic pouch. So when I asked for the pencil case, she was like, oh, let me check. And then so we went down. And what do you know? They had the pencil case and I was so lucky because it was actually the limited edition holiday 2020 collection so this was the Christmas animation for 2020 and it was so nice because she actually had three of the limited edition pencil case designs that I could choose from so um, she had this one and then she had the pink one but it only had one character I think it's Vivian I'm not sure if that's or if that's just if she's just all Vivian or if they have different names, not like hardcore fan. But yeah, the other one that they had was just the pink one. It was just like one Vivian character on it. And the back was like hot pink. And then the third limited edition they had was actually the newly released Monster line. I'm not sure what the line is called, but it's basically like the men's collection, I think, with like the monster characters, the ugly monster characters. And I actually found it really nice, but I was thinking like, I mean, yeah, it's very limited edition. You look super cool because no one else has it, but it really looked too like masculine for me. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go with the uh, Vivian characters instead because it's so cute. So that's what happened. I know that Louis Vuitton is really low on stocks when it comes to their SLGs. So whenever I go into the store, I always have like a list of the things that I could ask as backup in case the mini pochette wouldn't be available. So this was one of the items in my backup list and I actually didn't even bother including this in my Luxury Wishes 2021 because it's a Christmas animation and I thought that after December they wouldn't be selling the Christmas animations anymore or that it would be out of stock because these Christmas animations go by really quick and like everyone wants them. The personal shoppers always buy them and lots of resellers like buy and put a markup on them. So I really didn't think I was gonna be able to get the Christmas animation anymore. But look at me, I was able to get this item in the holiday 2020 collection. And you might ask why I wanted this pencil case from Louis Vuitton. And that is because, you know, I normally don't bring pens with me. But since the pandemic happened, I started bringing pens, my own pens, because you can't borrow pens anymore. So if you run like business errands or if you're out running a lot of like government errands where you have to sign a lot of stuff and you can't borrow pens because that would just be like germs you know like before I would just go in and just use the pen that they have or I'd borrow a pen from someone but now that there's a pandemic I was just like okay I really need to start bringing my own pens and my pens used to be in this pouch so this is a like woven pouch from Turkey so this was from my boyfriend's sister so she went on a trip to Turkey and this was her pasalubong to me so it just says Istanbul and it's the Hagia Sophia that's like embroidered on it. It's actually really cute. But my pens are in here. So I just have these pens and I really needed a catch-all which is why I originally really wanted the mini pochette first which I really just couldn't get. So you know when this just popped out I was like you know what I'll just get this since I can't get the mini pochette yet since it's still not popping up in the store I'll just get this first and then just to like fulfill that need of having a place to put my pens because this one like my pens go in but they have to go in slanted. See? So they don't go in straight like this. So now that I have this pencil case, I can just put it in. So, so let me just do a close-up of the pencil case first. So in the front is just like the monogram canvas. Printed on it are the Vivian characters, which are super cute. And then the back is just like this red soft leather which says 
Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is just embossed and printed in the back. And what surprised me actually was the bottom. So their bottom is their Vachetta canvas. And I actually didn't know that a lot of their pencil cases were designed like this. I was expecting everything to be in the monogram canvas, but apparently like they actually have these types of designs for the pencil case. So I was like, oh my god, like I'm so scared that this might like get dirty really quickly because I'm not exactly like the best person when it comes to taking care of her stuff. So we'll have to see about that and we'll just have to pray that nothing bad happens to the bottom of this pencil case. And then on the top, it just has this Louis Vuitton, um, what do you call this, zipper pull, which is a really nice detail. And then you open it up and inside you just have uh, this red microfiber interior lining and then you just have the serial code somewhere over there. So let's put it in. Let's put my pens in. Right now I just have three pens. The other pen that I have doesn't have any cap. <laughs> so obviously I'm not gonna put that in and stain my newly purchased um, pencil case. So there. And just put them in and they'll sit in there very nicely. So there, that was my Louis Vuitton monogram pencil case. Okay, my next item is from Chanel, and this was the second item that I purchased in this little um, haul. And the story of this is that, and I think it's also related to that darn mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. If you've seen my 2021 luxury wish list, you would know that aside from the mini pochette, I also wanted a Chanel card holder in a specific color, okay? So it was either the purple, the Tiffany blue, or like this green, this like muted green color. And these colors were from like two seasons ago and I checked there was a 19 C so, so C means cruise so there was a 2019 cruise Tiffany color and there was a 20 cruise which is a 2020 cruise Tiffany color so they released like two versions of the Tiffany and then for the purple I think they also did there was like a 19 S purple and then there was a 20 C purple so if I was going to get any of those two colors I would have to go for the 2020 cruise collection colors and I think cruise is like the earliest um, collection for the year so those were my options if I wanted either of those two colors and I started like messaging all these personal shoppers and obviously because the colors that I wanted were so rare and basically like super limited especially since they were released like 2020 and I think the 20C collection was released like in 2019 like late 2019 they started releasing the 20C collection so you can imagine like it's been quite a while it's been a hot minute since they released those colors so for me to go around like messaging all these personal shoppers like hi do you think you can still get me one in the store like you could imagine what they would feel because I'm pretty sure like obviously there's no more colors of the one that I want or else like it would be like such a hassle to get it so yeah that's what happened I messaged like four personal shoppers who cater to clients here in the Philippines and guys they were so like and I feel like it's a personal shopper thing like if the person hasn't shopped from you yet like you're just very like what do you call it stoic is that the word for it stoic <laughs> like no emotions I think it's stoic is it stoic the replies of some of them would just be like oh that's hard to find it was like from a season ago and then some would just be like the price so if I ask I show the picture of the card holders that I wanted and then they were like oh 35k like that they would just give me a code and then when I asked for the color like obviously you'd follow up right and then you'd be like oh is it possible to get it in this color the purple and the Tiffany blue and then they stop replying so I'm just like oh, like it was really tough for me to find someone who would reply and yeah I know the color is hard to get and you know that like, I get shy too because you know it's not like I'm a regular client of theirs for me to like be bugging them about the color that was released like a year ago, right? So yeah, that's what happened with the other personal shoppers that I messaged. But this one personal shopper was very kind to reply to me and be, you know, nice about it. Because the other personal shoppers were just like, you know the term isang tanong, isang sagot. So it's like, I'd ask them how much and they'd be like, price. Then, oh, can you find this? We'll try. Like that, you know, like it just sounded very uh, like there was no relationship. Like these people weren't really trying to build relationships. So when I messaged this one personal shopper and she was so nice about it, 
I was just like, okay. So this is what happened. This is not the card holder that I wanted, by the way. I will open it first and then I will tell you guys the story of how I ended up buying this item. So this one just came in the paper bags. So this was from a personal shopper for Instagram's Joy Eileen Closet. And she was the only one who was really nice to me when I inquired about the card holder. So when she suggested this item to me, I was just like, okay, I'll get it. Because she was the only kind one. Can you imagine? Like... I messaged so many people and she was the only accommodating one. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. Even if it's not the exact items I wanted. So it just came in this paper bag. It even still came with the Familia. Um, the box. And then... Ta -da! And then this is the box. And it still came with like... She still had the ribbons. And then the care card. Which is so nice. It came complete, and this was also brand new. Um, so, are you guys ready? Oh my god, when I opened this item, I was just like screaming. Like, baby screams inside my room. Like, literally, I was like, ah! Okay, so, this, are you ready, guys? Oh my god. So, this is... Da -da -da -da! The Chanel Mini O-Case in the Tiffany Blue color. Oh my god, guys, like, look at this. Look at how freaking beautiful this color is. Like, I have no words. And this was the exact Tiffany blue color that I was looking for. This was the exact Tiffany blue in my luxury wish list, though it's not in the card holder, it's in the mini O case. But still, like, for me to still be able to find. A Tiffany blue color brand new from the store it's just like I would just say okay you know what I'm gonna get this I don't know when else I would be able to get the chance of a brand new Tiffany blue SLG of anything even the purple like I feel like even the purple one I'm willing to do other SLGs just so I could get a hold of that purple color but yeah so this is the Chanel mini O-Case and it still has like the plastic on it but let me tell you guys the story first of how I ended up getting this instead of the card holder. So as I was saying I messaged a lot of personal shoppers and Joy was the only one who was very accommodating with my questions. This was when I was just asking about the card holder okay not even like the, the mini O-Case or whatever. So she was accommodating. She was speaking to me in Tagalog. She was like, Matagal na yan, mahirap na makahanap ngayon ng Tiffany Blue. And then she suddenly offered me this mini okay. She was like, how about this? This one's on hand. So this was this item was brand new on hand in Manila. So the thing is, I've seen this item on her Instagram post way before. Like, I would see it a lot because obviously it was on hand. So she would post it on her Instagram. But they never, you know how personal shoppers are, like they never really show their prices. So I never really asked about the price because it's Chanel and like I felt like it would be really, really expensive. Because you guys know I really just wanted a mini pochette and I felt like the price difference between this and the mini pochette would be really big. And I knew that this was a really, really rare color. So when I saw it on Joy's Instagram before, like, I never bothered to ask how much it was. Because, you know, like I just felt it was just way too expensive for me to buy. But since she offered it while we were talking in the chat, I asked. I was like, oh, how much is this one? If this is the one that I get. And then she told me the price. And I was just like, oh, like the price wasn't actually very far. Okay, it was kind of a little bit far. But it wasn't the price that I expected for this item. Especially because it's such a rare color and it's brand new. Like, I ex I really expected it to have a premium price because you know with Chanel, like, if it's a rare color, they really bump the reselling price of the rare colors. But the price wasn't like crazy crazy. It was just like normal crazy, normal Chanel price. So, uh, so I was just like, oh, okay, so I ended up getting this instead because I was just like, first of all, because she was so nice to me, she was so accommodating. And second of all, because the price wasn't as much as how I expected it to cost. So I was just like, okay, this is a good price for a really rare color. This is a rare color, guys. Like, 
you won't find this just lying around in every single person's pouch or bag. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna get it. And so at the end of the day, I feel like I was able to hit two birds with one stone with this mini O-case. Because since I can't get my hands on that damn mini pochette yet, I was just like, this will have to be like a temporary catch-all for all my stuff. This would be that item that would scratch that itch first. And aside from that, it doesn't only scratch the itch of the mini pochette, but also of the Tiffany color because you guys know I wanted the card holder in the Tiffany blue color or in the purple so now because I already have this Tiffany blue color I'm okay if I'm not able to get the card holder in the Tiffany blue it would be really nice if I'm able to get it in the purple but if not like if they really don't release a purple or if I'm really not able to get that purple color that I want I'm willing to go for like a pink a hot pink, a baby pink, or even like a black. Since I already have this anyway, like the Tiffany blue. It's so, so freaking beautiful and I just love it. So let me just do close-ups for this. And so this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it still has the sticker, the protective sticker on the CC logo over there. And then here's the zipper. And what I like about it is the CC zip. As you can see there, even the zipper is a Chanel zipper. Like how friggin' cute is that detailing over there. And this one, it looks small, it looks very flat, but I've read reviews and it says that it can actually fit a lot inside. So opening it, I don't really wanna open it much yet because it's new and I'm still preserving the newness of it, but basically that's what's inside. And over here is the serial number. So this one's 29 series, as you guys can see. I mentioned this was a 20 cruise collection, so that's why this is an older series version. Inside it just has a textile lining, and then you can see the serial code over there, and that's basically it. So yeah, I've seen a lot of videos on this where it expands a little bit, so I know I can fit a lot of stuff inside, and it's actually gonna be really good as a catch-all while I don't have that mini pochette yet, but look at it. Guys, this is so freaking beautiful. Like, until now, I'm just like... Like, if I want to flex, I just bring this little mini O-case with me. Because people are surely gonna be like, wow, that color. Like, not everyone is able to get this color, especially in an SLG. So if I want to flex, I'll just be like, check out my Tiffany Blue Chanel mini O-case. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, this is my, officially my new flexing item. Like if I saw this in a black, I'd just be like, you a normal person. You're a very normal person. But in a Tiffany blue, no. You are different. You are, dif you are on a different level of person. <laughs> That's what I feel about this Tiffany blue color. So yeah, I'm so glad I got it. Thank you so much to Joy for getting me this color. I still bug her about the Tiffany blue card holder, the purple, but... I don't know, hopefully we'll get it or someday soon. Prayers for the purple or the Tiffany blue card holder. So yeah, that was the mini O-case.